The futuristic Apple Glass is the newest addition to Apple's illustrious ecosystem. These glasses will make use of the upcoming augmented reality technology, AR, which should not be confused with virtual reality, VR. It combines digital items and processes with the natural environment around its user. In contrast, virtual reality is a completely simulated environment in which users may interact with digital things. Apple is hardly the only company to recognize the potential of AR-capable glasses. Google and Microsoft have each attempted to create their own AR spectacles. Google Glass initiative was shut down in 2015, largely owing to the device's poor public response. The design was disliked by users, and they believe it was cumbersome and overpriced. In the end, most users recognized that such a gadget was unnecessary, at least at the time. Microsoft HoloLens, on the other hand, is still in development and might provide direct competition to Apple. Apple Glass is not to be confused with Apple VR, which is a completely separate device. Apple is also working on a mixed reality headset, though specifics are scant. Apple Glass is a true augmented reality gadget. Augmented reality is not a new concept. Remember the popular smartphone game Pokemon Go? It too uses augmented reality to engage players and catch Pokemons. But Apple Glass has a completely different aim in mind. They aim to incorporate it into your regular routine. So for example, you may go through your text by swiping as you eat your breakfast without looking at your phone. When combined with other Apple gadgets, it might be a wonderful creative outlet for productivity, such as utilizing Apple Glass to imagine altering the interior of your home. According to Apple, the design principle of Apple Glass is to bring all the information from your phone to your face. They are specifically looking for Apple Glass to sync with an iPhone and show things like text, emails, maps, and games across the user's field of view, and they want it all to work within the Apple environment. They have already connected to other Apple devices. Apple also intends to enable third-party apps and is exploring the creation of a separate app store in the same way you can acquire apps for the Apple TV and Apple Watch. But as we learn more about technology underlying the Apple Glass, it becomes more interesting. One such aspect of the Apple Glass is what is known as optical sub-assembly. According to the patent submitted by Apple, they want to employ Apple Glass as an in-headset vision correction device, eliminating the need for the wearer to wear prescriptive glasses beneath their Apple. The patent specifies this optical sub-assembly will automatically compensate for persons with weak vision. The necessity for a fresh prescription will be obsolete since gadgets such as Apple Glass will be able to adjust their optical qualities on the go. According to another patent, Apple Glass would also allow users to modify the backdrop of items they see on the fly in the same way you may change the backdrop in a video conference call on applications such as Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Apple Glass will use photos from its camera and color range detection to create a composite and then digitally insert virtual content. So if you were gazing at a wall, Apple Glass might begin displaying your calendar while you browse. On the right side of Apple Glass, there will be a LiDAR scanner. However, Apple has yet to confirm the installation of a camera on the frame. LiDAR is an abbreviation for light detection and ranging, and it is a prominent remote sensing approach that uses light to create a picture of the environment around it. This sort of sensor is most typically seen in self-driving cars. The sensor can map the environment around it in 3D using LiDAR. This sensor will be key to the Apple Glass's capacity to track the world around its user and augment digital features via its display. Another alleged feature of the Apple Glass is what can only be characterized as an immersible Google Street View. The difference is that unlike Google Street View, where you can see the street on your mobile device, you'll be virtually transported to that view and have a full 363 degree view of the location information extracted from patents. It also suggests that Apple may use Apple Glass to help users see better in the dark. This would be accomplished by the use of depth sensors, which would offer the user improved spatial awareness in low light circumstances. It will feature a field of view of 52 degrees and a resolution of 47 ppi, similar to the HoloLens 2. Suppose Apple wants to offer a truly augmented reality solution rather than a heads-up display that displays 2D floating notifications or maps like Google Glass. 
In that case, the Apple Glasses should link to the iPhone via a separate Wi-Fi connection. If the iPhone is required to process all of the footage taken by the Glasses camera and send back the 3D picture at a very high frames per second rate, a bare minimum of around 60 Hz with 120 Hz refreshing rate being the best, it will require far more bandwidth than Bluetooth can give. If Apple really wants to compete, we should expect a minimum of three hours of battery life. However, we can imagine that users will be more forgiving, especially if Apple includes a wireless charging glasses case that can extend the device's operational time throughout the day, similar to Apple AirPods. Smart displays, wireless signals, microphones, fast computers, and LiDAR combine to create a device that requires a large battery. If Apple wants to create a device that everyone wants to wear, it must look attractive and perform well. Apple will have to compromise between a large battery and a host processor. Processing power is one area where Apple can save money. Like the first generation Apple Watch, smart glasses could rely on the iPhone for all its processing needs and just show that data. Apple will drastically reduce local processing by passing information from the phone to the glasses, leaving only the display and sensors to worry about. Apple's AirPods are an excellent example of a small item with long battery life. The AirPods Pro, despite its diminutive size, has a long battery life while using A and C. If the prototype devices are sleek, as Proser claims, Apple may have already overcome its battery life design issues. The glasses will have to serve the client as a piece of technology and fashion, but they will also need to perform a third role for many people. They will need to work like glasses. Apple is likely to include a prescription lens ordering option, but a patent describes another possibility. The lenses themselves might be able to adjust to the person wearing them. Apple is looking into a few different ways that Apple Glass recordings can be made evident to bystanders who don't want to be caught on camera. Apple is looking into the possibility of making the camera module detachable. The modular accessory will allow venues such as clubs and theaters to prohibit the modular accessory while permitting the HMD frame without the attachment into the venues. Apple also envisions employing lights to indicate when the device is recording. Although, unlike previous smart glasses, attempting to do so may result in the camera failing completely. According to the patent, the camera's lights might pulse in an encrypted pattern, with the lens collecting reflections in the recorded environment. According to Prosser, Apple glasses are now priced at $499 plus prescription expenses. Compared to the other augmented reality headset like the Microsoft HoloLens 2, this may appear affordable. The HoloLens 2 costs $3,500, including all the necessary gear for the augmented reality experience. The Vuzix Blade, on the other hand, has a starting price of $799. Apple's entry point is significantly less pricey, costing roughly the same as some of the company's most expensive smartwatches. According to Ming Ching Ko, Apple glasses will be released after an Apple VR headset. The VR headgear will be available in 2022 while the glasses will be available in 2025.